Hi folks. I thought I would make a video on the subject of young earth creationism. Principally because I notice that a lot of Christians, certainly in my area, uh, they tend to be believers in young earth creationism, which is the view that the earth is around six to ten thousand years old. Now, I used to take this view myself when I was a Christian. That would have been the prevalent view in my church. Um, and I understand why the view is held. Uh, it's actually hard to understand how a Christian could believe something other than this. Now, I understand that there's different ways of looking at Christianity. And those who believe in young earth creationism tend to be Bible literalists. But it's hard to see any other way to look at a genealogy than literally. There's nothing figurative, allegorical about a genealogy. And genealogy is the reason why people believe in young earth creationism. So the Bible contains genealogies going back from Christ right back to Adam. So there you have the entire history of the human race. Um, seemingly historical in nature. It's hard to see how something like evolution can fit into that picture. Um, at what point does this history become some kind of prehistoric allegory? It just simply goes right back to Adam as the first man created out of the dust of the ground by God as it's recorded in the early chapters of Genesis. So, certainly not all passages of the Bible are supposed to be interpreted literally. Um, it just depends on what sort of language the Bible is using at the time. For instance, I think there's a verse that says something about the mountains skipped like rams. And that's obviously not meant to be taken literally. That's, uh, that's metaphor. And a lot of the prophetic language operates in this way. But certainly, the history of man in the form of a genealogy, that must be literal. And so we have the view that the earth, or at the very least, history of humankind, is six to ten thousand years old because that's the sort of ballpark figure that you get when you add up all the different generations in the genealogy. So that's why I believed it because I believe the Bible as the inerrant Word of God. The trouble is if you want to believe this in the modern day you have to deny what science is telling you. Science says that the human race has been around an awful lot longer than that and the Earth itself has been around for 4.5 billion years. So for some Christians, this is very black and white. You believe the Bible, and therefore science must be wrong, because God, who apparently wrote the Bible through a human agency, God cannot be wrong. So, um, real science, according to the Christian, would fit Scripture. And so you have people like Ken Ham of the Creation Science Foundation, I think it's called, um, who believes that uh, man is literally six to 10,000 years old and that man and dinosaur coexisted uh, in complete contradiction to the fossil record. Um, but these uh, scientists who are Christians, I can't call them Christian scientists because Christian science is a particular belief system. But these scientists who are Christians, they come up with their own particular spin on the science to somehow make it fit scripture. Now the problem is that's a totally unscientific way to approach science. Science is impartial. It's supposed to just look at the information and go where the information leads. And according to the overwhelming majority, and by overwhelming I'm I don't know what the real statistics are, but I think we're talking about maybe over 99% of the world's scientists are in agreement that the world is 4.5 billion years old. <laughs> this is one of these areas where the layperson like myself, and like you probably, we have to trust the experts. Um, but unfortunately, the Christian will, tr will trust the Christian experts, and someone like me will trust the secular experts. Um, and then it really becomes a game of numbers. Uh, where does the majority opinion lie? 
Here, here's a thought that I want the Christian to bear in mind. If you side with Ken, Ken Ham and, and view that evolution isn't real, that the world is much younger than what contemporary science says, for that to be true, there would have to be some kind of massive worldwide scientific conspiracy involving almost all of the world's scientists. Because surely some of them, surely a good portion of them, would be able to take a look at the research of creation science and say, oh, we got it wrong, this is actually true. But they don't. They stick with the 4.5 billion years because that's where the evidence impartially viewed seems to point. You can't start with the Bible and say, okay, I believe the Bible is true, therefore any science that I come up with, I'm going to make sure that it fits the Bible by hook or by crook. <laughs> you know, that's not, that's not the scientific method there. Um, so I, I don't see how you can get around this problem, Christian. Where is that, you know, is it feasible that there is such a conspiracy of all the world's scientists? And I've heard Ken, I've heard, I've heard Ken Ham and what do you call that comedian, um, Bill Maher, squaring off in that documentary, Religious. And Ken Ham made the point that man is sinful, therefore man's mind is darkened and man will make the wrong decisions. So he's kind of hinting at the idea that you could trust the, the, the scientist who's a Christian, but you can't trust the scientist who's a secularist and an atheist. But that just doesn't hold any water, because take a look at all the marvelous technology around you that benefits your life every day. This is all as a result of secular science. <laughs> of course, some, some scientists may be Christians and you're contributing to technology, of course. But the vast majority of them seem to be non-Christians. Um, so, how do you get around the problem? You know, can you really, 4.5 billion years? I don't know how they arrived at that figure. I'm not a scientist, but I'm willing to trust that more than I'm willing to trust Ken Ham, because I just don't see this conspiracy as being feasible. So that's my take on young Earth creationism.